Hello all, I am Dr. Rizvi and this is part 2 of our manufacturing process videos. In this video we will discuss the classification of engineering materials. So let us start with the video. The classification of engineering materials can be done in the following four categories. First is the metal, then plastics, ceramics and composite. These are the four broad classification areas of engineering materials. The flowchart can be given as like this. The materials are basically classified broadly into four types. Talking about metals, the metals can be ferrous, non-ferrous and amorphous. Ferrous metals are those that include iron in it, non-ferrous that do not include iron in it. Ferrous uh, may contain, uh, may uh, incorporate steels, all the type of steels such as stainless steels, tool steels, die steels, cast iron. Non-ferrous comprises of aluminium, copper, tungsten and titanium. These are few examples of metals, steel rods, engine cylinder that is made up of cast iron and copper wire. These are the metals that are used in industries and engineering application. Moving on to the next classification that is plastics. Plastics are basically classified into three types. They are thermoplastics, thermosets and elastomers. The thermoplastic comprises of acrylics, nylons, polyethylenes, PVCs. Thermosets basically comprises of epoxies and phenolics and the elastomers comprises of rubbers and silicones etc. These are the example of plastics. These are the thermoplastics, these are the thermosets and these are the, this is the rubber example of plastic. Next is ceramic. Ceramics basically comprises of all the oxide, nitrides, carbides, glasses, glass ceramics, graphites and diamonds. These are those materials that can withstand high temperatures and these are the refractory materials. The last uh, classification of engineering materials is composites. Composites basically comprises of reinforced plastics, metal matrix, ceramics matrix and laminates. The examples of uh, ceramics are uh, these uh, engineering applications that are used in industries. They also uh, uh, contains all the uh, refractory uh, materials like uh, uh, the toilet seat, the wash basin. They are also ceramics and can be an example of ceramics. Moving on to the examples of composites, you have seen the laminated sheets that are uh, now used and the replacement of steel uh, teen, teen sheds and the laminates and the reinforced plastics that are replacing the other engineering materials and forming an alternate for those materials. Follow our YouTube channel, Dr. Rizvi channel on YouTube. Thank you.